Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to reset your Mac if you want to sell it or to give it to someone else. I'm going to show you in four easy steps and it doesn't matter if you're selling an iMac or a MacBook or MacBook Pro. The process is exactly the same on any computer. In this video, I'm going to reset a MacBook Pro. So the very first step is to back up your Mac and it's really easy to do. You basically use Time Machine and make sure you back it up on a external hard drive. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've never heard of Time Machine or if you don't have an external hard drive, please watch the video on how to use Time Machine to back up your Mac first. If you don't care about losing all your information and if you have it backed up some other way, then you don't have to worry about this step. But I recommend using Time Machine to back it up your Mac before you give it to someone else or sell it. For step two, we want to sign out of things on our Mac, things like iMessage, iCloud, iTunes, even apps like Skype. I want to sign out of all those things. So I'm going to show you a couple of the essential ones, which you could do inside of iCloud. So go to your settings. If you come up here and go to system preferences, that's going to open this window for system preferences. And here, basically under your Apple ID, you could sign out. So I'm going to press my Apple ID. And as you could see, I'm using all these options inside of my iCloud. So I want to make sure I sign out here. And the way you do that is you could come to this overview and sign out. Depending on your operating system, this might be somewhere else. So make sure you find sign out and sign out of that. Once you sign out of that, come to iMessages. Again, make sure you sign out of this as well. I already did that step. Do it to FaceTime as well and go to iTunes and sign out. Let me go to iTunes to show you where that is. For iTunes, come up here to accounts and then press sign out over here just to make sure you sign out of everything so you don't have a problem later. And one last thing, come back to system preferences here and go to your iCloud and you need to check off find my Mac. So go ahead and press the options on find my Mac and then make sure you turn these off. When you get rid of it, you no longer need to worry about these and you don't want them to be attached to your iCloud. So turn these off while you're on this page under find my Mac. Now that you sign out of everything, we're going to go to step three. Step three is reformatting our hard drive. Now this is going to erase everything. So make sure you have backed it up and sign out of your iClouds, iMessages, iTunes. And now in step three, we're going to erase the whole hard drive so we could start from scratch. In order to do that, we need to restart your computer. So come up to the Apple logo here and press restart. And as soon as the computer starts to restart, you want to hold down command R while it's rebooting back up. So right when it reboots back up and you see the Apple logo, as long as you're holding command R, you're going to get Mac OS utilities. This is where we're going to erase our hard drive. On this page, we're going to choose disk utility. The last option on this page, that's going to let us erase our disk, erase our hard drive completely. Again, you're going to lose everything and you're not going to be able to get it back unless you've backed up using Time Machine. So we're going to choose this option. And on this page, I care about the internal hard drive. In this case, it's called Untitled. Yours might be your name or something else. But choose that and then click the Erase option here right on top. And it's going to give us the option to rename it. So if yours is Untitled, for example, you could name it something else. In this case, I'm just going to call it Apple SSD. And under Format, you could just choose the very first one, APFS here. In some computers, it might be called Mac OS Journal. It depends on the drop down menu that you have here, but APFS is the right format here. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to press erase. Now, this is going to format my hard drive and all the information will be gone. So let this process complete till you get the check mark and then you could press done. So now I could come up to disk utility here and quit disk utility. So it will take me back to the previous page here with a brand new hard drive. But now I need to go to step four, which is reinstalling your Mac operating system. So that's the option here that I'm going to choose reinstall Mac operating system. When you buy a new computer, for example, you could choose the option on top that says restore from a time machine backup. So our first step was backing up the time machine. So when you buy a new computer, you could choose that to basically use Time Machine to bring everything back to a new Mac. But in this case, let's restart Mac OS. It's going to choose the right Mac OS here for you. So you could go ahead and press continue, press agree to the terms and condition, and then you want to choose the disk. Now I have the Apple SSD. It's basically the one I formatted here when I set this up. So I'm going to choose this hard drive, 
and I'm going to press install. Now this is going to take a little bit of time because it's installing from the internet that operating system onto my computer. So I'm going to let that go on. And the next step is after it does do an install, it's going to go to the black page where you're going to see the Apple logo again and the progress bar. And as soon as that bar completes, you're going to get a brand new computer. And finally, you're going to see the welcome screen. Now you could go ahead and set this up, but I like to leave it as a brand new Mac. So I won't even choose a country or anything here. So when you hand it off or sell it to someone else, they basically get it exactly as you get it out of the Apple factory with the welcome screen being your first page. So when you, they open it, they could set up everything they want to just like a brand new computer. I hope you found this process straightforward and useful. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and best of luck on selling your Mac. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.